No matter what anyone is saying to you from outside, the most important conversation is the one you are having with yourself on the inside. Soon there will be such a horrifying gap between the rich and the poor that chaos will break out and another great civilization will collapse. Social welfare is destroying the soul of America. Social programs are cancers growing within the spirit of the people they were created to serve. Social programs do not make people stronger, they keep people weak, depending on the government to solve their problems. They are in such a hurry to make money that they eventually lose both time and money, I added. They want to do things on their own rather than invest in a little study. So when you're in doubt and feeling a little afraid, just do what Colonel Sanders did to his little chicken. He fried it. He understood that every person has a weak and needy part of their soul that can be bought and he knew that every individual also had a part of their soul that was resilient and could never be bought. It was only a question of which one was stronger. One of the quotes credited to Ford goes, thinking is the hardest work there is. That is why so few people engage in it. Study hard so you can find a good company to buy. Have you ever wondered where the idea of retirement at the age of 65 came from? I'll tell you where, Otto von Bismarck, the president of Prussia, in 1889. Actually, Bismarck's government, at the time, the life expectancy of the average Prussian was about 45. Today, so many are living well into their 80s and 90s that the same promise might well bankrupt the federal government within the next generation. Rich Dad said that financial intelligence determined, not so much how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard that money works for you, and how many generations you can keep it. American people always in search of a bargain in the name of saving money, send the money they earn to countries that produce these low-cost bargains. That money costs them their jobs and as well as our country's wealth. Often in the real world, it's not the smart who get ahead, but the bold. Last night, I took a break from writing and watched a TV program on the history of a young man named Alexander Graham Bell. Knowledge is power. And with money comes great power that requires the right knowledge to keep it and make it multiply. Without that knowledge, the world pushes you around. Finding your path in life is your goal in life. If your mind is open to opposing ideas, your intelligence will go up. If we learn to walk by falling down, if we never fell down, we would never walk. History proves that great civilizations collapse when the gap between the haves and have-nots is too great. Sadly, America is on that same course because we haven't learned from history. We only memorize historical dates and names, not the lesson. Aren't prices supposed to go up? Using other people's money is literally the best way to reduce your taxes in the I quadrant. That's because you can take deductions for the purchases you make with other people's money. Depreciation on real estate is a particularly great way to take tax benefits on someone else's money. You get a deduction not just for the portion of the real estate you paid for with your own money, but you also get a depreciation deduction for the portion paid for with the bank's money. 
People who lack internal fortitude often become victims of those who have self-discipline. Wealth is a person's ability to survive so many number of days forward, or, if I stopped working today, how long could I survive? One way to meet like-minded people is to attend classes or seminars, join clubs, or simply study and learn a new vocabulary. Soon you will meet new friends. Our brains are either our greatest assets or our greatest liabilities. There are legal Ponzi schemes and illegal Ponzi schemes. Social security is a legal Ponzi scheme, as is the stock market. You will see things that other people never see. Most people never see these opportunities because they're looking for money and security. Financial intelligence is a synergy of accounting, investing, marketing, and law. Combine those four technical skills and making money with money is easier than most people would believe. When it comes to money, the only skill most people know is to work hard. You only need to be generous with what you have.